Guys, I'm back and the gun is complete now. Hey everybody, DMHill23 here, and today I'm doing a woodland camouflage on my M4 here. Um, so at first I'm going to be using this white um, Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch Extra Cover uh, Primer. I got two cans about to run out here, so here we go. Alright, so now the primer is done, and I'll come back when this is dry. All right, the primer is now done after about a half hour of drying. So now I have Rust-Oleum high heat uh, paint. It's for like grills and stuff, but the color is a nice dark green, like flat green. So I just got it anyway. I didn't really care. So here we go. Alright, so now this, uh, the primary color, the green, is done, so I will come back in a little bit when this is now dry. Hey everybody, DMHill23 here, and I'm finally back, after months of break, back working on my woodland camo here. So, um, I have three different kinds of leaves here. Uh, these two came from branches, and this one, obviously, computer paper. Um... I just got a maple leaf and cut it out and everything. But these are from branches and all tied up and everything. So it'll give it a more natural look. Now, the two colors that um, I'm using here are two camouflage colors. One's a dark gray, so you can see, and one's a lighter tan. What I'm going to be using here is the dark gray dark grayish brown and what I'm going to do is just basically set the leaf patterns down and then spray over them. You want to do a couple passes so the leaf print comes out on it. Go ahead and use all three of the stencils here. And this last one here. Alright. So now that color is done. And uh, it's difficult to see on the camera right now. But there is the base coat green down there. And then the lighter gray on it. So the color I'm using next is this lighter tan which will show up more. On it, it'd be a lot easier to see, but then um, once that's this is uh, ready and dry here, I'll come back in about 20 minutes and spray paint the rest. All right, I'm back after about 25 30 minutes of it drying, and it's now dried to the touch. So I'm now using this light tan here, uh, it's already shaken up, and uh, I'm just gonna do the same thing I did with the other uh, color. What I'm going to do is kind of fill up other spots that just have the dark green on it. So just there. And I'm also going to try to overlap the other color as well to give it a nice like forest look and overlay. Alright, right now it's not looking too bad, it's looking really nice, so I'm going to let this dry for probably 20 minutes again, uh, probably not 30 minutes since it's not a full coat, uh, 20 minutes or so it's dry to the touch, and then I'm going to overlay with the other colors, so then the lightest color is not on the outside, because then that would be like reverse camouflage basically, and it'd give a nice overlay and kind of look like it's all blended in, so I'll come back in a little bit. So far it's looking really good camouflage wise. Um, Obviously the tan's pretty bright, so that would more or less make you stick out like a sore thumb, which is why now we do the layering pattern. 
where we uh, take the dark green again, the what we use for the base coat, and kind of go over it so it's all equally uh, colored and everything. All right, so now it's looking a lot better, a lot more blended. As you can see right there, the colors like perfectly match each other and everything and blend in. So it's looking very nice right now. So I'm gonna let this dry for about 10 to 15 minutes since it was just a little bit and then uh, go from there. All right, so now the overlaying uh, coat has dried and this is the final product of the Woodland Camo for your airsoft and or paintball gun. Um, it turned out very nice in my opinion. Um, the colors perfectly blend, especially here on the stock. It looks really nice. Uh, it would definitely be good if you're playing in a wooded or very grassy area. Your gun is completely covered and none of the original black or clear or whatever other paint job or camo you had on it is showing. Uh, it looks very nice. It would most definitely blend in very well. And uh, it turned out real well. Um, if this was a paint job instead of a camo, obviously there'd be a lot more designs and such. But because it's a camo, it's more or less blobs that like blend in. Not necessarily blobs, just kind of like sections of it. And uh, so that's the final product of the winning camo. Thanks, everybody. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.